Welcome to a new perspective with your sister Leslie Roberts. Come on in, take a seat, and let's talk. I have a question for you today, and that question is, what is your work ethic like? What does it look like? When you're working, when you're out making your coins, how do you work? What energy do you put into your work? Is it sloppy? Do you just wake up um, at the very last moment to get ready for what you have to do for work? Or do you prepare yourself a little bit in the mornings and get ready? Or how is your energy at work? That question is very important because that will determine your elevation. That will determine your promotion. That will determine where you're going. That will determine your success. If you work as if you're working to just meet the needs and put food on your table, that's not going to be enough. You're going to miss the promotion. You're going to miss the elevation. You have to work as you're working for a greater purpose than monetary gain. Because some of us, truth be told, we're not always excited or we're not thinking about what we're making in a positive way. Some of us, you know, we want more money, I would say. Some of us, we're content with what we have. We don't want any more, that's fine. And some of us um, just know that we have to do something different because we've got to see a different tomorrow, you know? But it just depends on the energy that you're putting in. If you're going to work and you're working as if you're working for a human, and that human, we all know, changes their opinions, changes their attitudes, changes their emotional um, appearance every day, all the time. So you work as you have to depend on this person to get you what you need, you know, your paycheck. But that's the wrong motive. Your motive should be, I know this is a human. I I don't put my all, all my eggs in the basket with this person because I know that humans are faulty. I know that, um, you know, humans are real people. However, I'm going to respect this job and I'm going to respect this work and I'm going to respect the level that I'm on at this moment. And I'm going to work as I'm working for a greater purpose. I work, the Bible tells you to work as you're working unto God. So if you go into the workplace tomorrow and you bring that energy and that energy is all about, I'm trying to please God because that's where my reward comes from. Guess what? You will get the elevation. You will receive the promotion. You will um, be extended in a new, greater way than you could ever imagine. So just take an energy that if no one else sees you, it's okay. If the boss never walks through that door, it's okay. If the boss never acknowledges the hard work that you give, it's okay. Because you will not relax or lax or get lazy. You're gonna keep moving forward in a positive, strong way because you know that your reward comes from somebody greater. So you're going to put that energy into it and you're not going to hold back because that human, the boss who you do owe respect, that boss is, you know, shady in some way or shaky in their foundation. You still have a responsibility and your responsibility is to yourself and work unto God to God. So your fruits, the labor that you put in, the energy that you give, It's going to pay off. Just wait and see. 
but just know that it's not about working for humans. It's about working for something greater because your whole family depends on your mindset to be elevated and to be changed. So you have a great day and be blessed and stay with gaining a new perspective because a new perspective, a new mind is a new world, okay? Have a great one.